Who was Luther? It would be easy to make Luther into something he's not. In many ways, he was no different than every person born into this world. He put his pants on one leg at a time. He was born into a devout working class Roman Catholic family. He went to an ordinary school like many boys his age. Recognizing he was a smart boy, his family invested in his education, hoping Luther would become a lawyer. But as the story goes, lightning struck and a deep fear for God and his own future brought Luther to reject his family's wishes and choose a religious life instead, the life of a monk. Luther's training as a monk was rigorous and highly disciplined. He excelled as a monk and described himself as a radical, so devoted to the church that he was willing to kill anyone who would challenge the Pope's authority. His superiors began to recognize Luther was not your average monk with an average brain. He memorized large portions of scripture and excelled in his studies. For most, success in the classroom brings confidence, but Luther continued to have his doubts. In fact, his superior in the monastery had to force him to pursue the degree that would eventually make him a professor. Luther's reluctance to become a professor reflected his personality and his heart. He was satisfied living as a monk, serving as a priest in a small church. He was deeply concerned for the souls of those who sat in the pews and walked on the streets, a concern that drove all that was to happen in the years to come. Eventually, although reluctantly, Luther received his degree to become a professor from the University of Wittenberg, a startup university in an unknown, shabby little town. But soon, the name of this school and the town it was located in would be known throughout Europe. All of this was said and done so you can remember, a mighty fortress is our God.